Hey guys, Kirstie is here. Welcome back to some Stormfall Saga of Survival. Now, really quick, I am not reviving this series until there is actually an update to the game. But I do have to actually come out and say, Plurium, come clean. Are you guys abandoning this game? Is this game going away? Are you going to get rid of it? What's the deal? I think, you know, the 5 million people who have downloaded this game uh, deserve to know. And to be honest, you know, you like, when's the last major update, major, major update, like an actual content update have you made to this game? Uh, I believe that was uh, over six months ago. Over, probably 10 months, close to closer to that. And like, I, I love you guys at Plurium. You know, you advertise one of my videos on your... Uh, in game and you did all that you did a lot of cool stuff for me which i'm really eternally thankful for and i would love to continue this series but i cannot continue playing a game where there's no content there's no nothing to you know nothing to strive for to move to progress forward to like i could just level up and no like i'm not gonna like you know use the exploits that everyone else is using to get items I shouldn't have, like um, like Moranian steel ingots and stuff like that, uh, just so I can unlock items that have no function or purpose to the game. And I mean that's pretty much it. You know I, I'm not gonna do that just because uh, you know just because it would be something to do. And plus, you know, I don't want to get my account banned or anything for doing something so stupid because uh, I'm pretty sure Plurium is going to probably, if they do update the game, like do a major update to the game, they are going to figure out everyone who has exploited the game for these items. And they're either going to take the items away or ban your account. And my guess is it's going to be the latter rather than the former. And that's just, that's just my thoughts. You know, they would rather, because rather than just do a mass purge on those items, they would probably just rather ban the people who have exploited to get those items. So, but yeah, there's just been, there's been no content. Nothing to, nothing to update, nothing to talk about in game. Like, all, all my videos would, like, be the same above as my Empires and Allies videos. Like, nothing, there's no content here. Nothing to push forward to. Like, I could continue leveling up and I could get to, you know, the plate armor, which is fine. It's fine and dandy. It's nice, but it's nothing important. I can't really use, can't use the rabbit pen. It's hidden behind the steel plate. The marine steel plate. The rack is pointless too. Hidden behind steel plate. Uh, the and then the enchanted armor set is hidden behind marine and steel plate. Can't use it. And those who have made it, you know, just saying again, they would probably ban your account for exploit exploitation if you have exploited to get these items. And then there's dragon cave, which again. It's not hidden behind anything, but at the same time, it's not in the game. There's no point in having it. Then there's a sheep pen. Again, no point. Even if uh, it wasn't hidden, behind, locked behind rain steel plate, there's no point to it. Large chest, rain steel bar. Right? I don't even think you can make these out yet. You need Moranian um, amulets, I think, which are not in the game. And then greater satchel, which uh, gives you more stuff. But you could act actually, I could make this. But then there's Guardian Spirit, Wizard Staff, all this stuff here. And like in the Battering Ram, the point of the old point of the Battering Ram was to break down um, walls. But now it does no wall damage. What? Like why have it have 8 durability if it doesn't do any wall damage, right? But anyway, Blade of Wayar is going to be pretty cool when that's finally actually available. But there's nothing there. There's no end game content. At least if they had put in like the end game content, 
like or at least some form of end game content then it would be cool you know you'd be able to go do stuff i'd be able to record on it do it daily but no there's there's nothing there's nothing more to go to nothing nothing more to talk about like there's no and, and like guilds like for you know factions and guilds and stuff there's no more like i can't even go to ancient ruins i can't even there's nothing there's just nothing here anymore Implarium, you guys need to come clean about what you're doing Please, like, if any mod from Plarium sees this video, understand, I am not criticizing. I am giving constructive feedback here that you guys have done nothing. And the players know this. That's the whole point. The players know you've done nothing and there's nothing going on. And that development, the reasons you give for this is bug fixes? You tell everybody bug fixes, but there hasn't been any small updates to the game in months. So how can you even say that there's been, but you're doing bug fixes. If anything, there that you should be uh, focused on closing exploit holes. Sure. Uh, like any game uh, would, you know, they would be focused on closing exploitative uh, holes that allow people to have, items they shouldn't have but uh but otherwise you know be honest about what's going on here plarium to tell the community the truth is this game alive is it a live project or is it a dead project be on it because i like i've already said this I would love to continue this series if this game were to have content. Like something for me to progress towards. But at the moment, there's nothing to progress towards. There's no, no progression whatsoever. And there's nothing to do. So, you know, I'm just saying... I can't I can't play a game where there's no end game content. Like even Empires and Allies, I mean like, you know, I can still legitimately progress towards things uh at, le at the very least. But as far as it goes, there there's nothing to progress towards here. You know, like you guys have basically taken away any incentive to progress in this game past a certain point. Like once you get to the point where everything is everything in the future is locked behind items that you can't have. Like I said, like like as far as it goes, I can go up to the plate stuff here. And even then, steel plate is kind of expensive anyway. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even craft this stuff. But even then, you I, I start you start hitting stuff that's locked. And stuff that we don't even know if it has a functional purpose, like the rack. Does this have a functional purpose, or is it just meant to be a decoration? Nobody knows. And the well, is the well actually going to have a functional purpose, too? Nobody knows. This is locked. The dragon cave is probably locked uh, behind an item that is required to finish it. And we are, I already know the functional purpose of this. It's going to be so you can go to those island, those uh, those dungeon islands that require the dragon. Cheap pen obviously is required so you can use the dragon cave. <sighs> and then large chest is locked behind meridium amulets. And then. Uh, Pretty much like and that everything else down here is locked. It's all locked behind everything. And there's no point in progressing in a game where everything else that exists in game is locked behind content. Behind you know, just behind content that hasn't been added to the game yet. Like I, like you know, there could and the, oh yeah, the throne. It's locked behind an item you can't have. 
There's, in fact, there's a lot of stuff, actually. In fact, even there's, there's stuff that you can't get normally as a drop, like certain hammers. You can't get certain hammers as a normal drop out of either enemies or chests. So no point in trying to farm those kinds of hammers. Like, the best hammer I've seen drop uh, are just uh, the like the middle tier hammers. You, you can never get any of the higher tier hammers. And that kind of sucks. But... But anyways, though, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, like, and please, you know, if you like this game and you want this game to continue, go flood Plarium's Facebook page on this game. Go flood it with complaints that they are not updating their game. Like, if they got, like, 10,000 people to just run over there right now and say, update your game... They'd probably do it. So, anyways, though, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to me complain. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.